Why, hello there. I'm Ryan Raffles. And I'm Johnny. And welcome to Ryan Raffles Epic Amazing Show, episode number four. The microphone is perfectly centered betwixt us, and we are ready to give it to you. So let's get started. <laughs> All right. So, first order of business here, we are going to go over to news a lot, because I've got some interesting stories for you here. And the first one here reads, National breakdancing finals results in massive holes being drilled to the center of Earth. Quite interesting indeed. The National Breakdancing Finals in the city of Warbury last month took a downward spiral, literally, when two finalists pulled out the ultimate floor spin in an attempt to win the competition. Competitor Matt Crankabase took responsibility for the incident, stating he was afraid he was going to lose and had to pull out the ultimate weapon. The two remaining competitors accelerated into an intense spin as the DMX favorite ex Gon Give It To Ya played during the tournament. Determined to win, the opponent spun faster and faster until they drilled two holes all the way to the center of the earth. Crankbase said of the incident it was, quote, a doozy. Bystanders were in shock as the two dancers re-emerged on the surface and the National Breakdancing Committee declared the first ever tie. Crankabase was immediately inducted into the Breakdancing Hall of Fame, and the city of Warbury now has a new tourist attraction, which visitors have not yet fallen into. We were asked to mention that the first person to fall down the tunnel gets 50% off their next visit, and a free ice cream from the Breakdance Hole Cafe, where all the food is served with large holes cut out of the center. I would say that is quite the doozy, wouldn't you? I would say so, yes. I remember my breakdancing days. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Anyway, on to our next order of business. Invasive plant species. Taking over our yards. Terrorizing our streets. A menace to our societal sanctuary. We go live on the scene to Andino Exploricus. Out on the scene fighting these scumbag photosynthesizing scoundrels. Uh, what was his name again? Andino? Thank you, Ryan and Johnny, and howdy there, folks. I'm Andino Exploricus out here on the scene, where we seem to have some many invasive plant species looming around this area. Follow me, let's go take a look. So, looking over here, we've got these tall pine trees all the way from the outback. They're invading our yards, our homes, coming to take our children, I reckon. What are we going to do about it? Are we just going to idly stand by? I think not. Little buggers have got sproutlets going on the ground here. What are we going to do? What are we going to do about it? Ah, what are we going to do? These invasive plant species are taking over our towns, our grocery stores, our supermarkets. What are they going to do next? Where are they going to strike? They're everywhere. So it's your turn to come out here with us on the forefront and join us in this war against these invasive plant species. You're going to need a hiding place. Might I suggest one of these? Just watch. Watch out for any creatures. <laughs> there might be many lurking in the woods. Here we are. No one will ever suspect a thing. Not a thing. So get out there. The fight needs you. There are many species out here. And before you know it, Entire area is going to be nothing but plants. It's as if that we're living on a rock with with plants on it and we're not the uh, the only things here. We can't be having that, folks. Can't be having that. So next time you see a little bugger like this, grab it. End it. End it. Not on my watch. Back over to you, Ryan and Johnny. Thank you. Thanks for that, Andino. That was interesting, to say the least. It is rough out there being amongst the plants, I guess. Kind of gets to your brain. I, I, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, it's time for us to go to a commercial break. Watch out for those plants. Hello there. I'm Mama Turnip. For 30 years, I've been owner and proprietor of Quilty as charged. You want a fine quilt to lay your grandkids on? 
quilty as charged. <laughs> we only make the finest and softest quilts that you would be the most comfortable to lay upon. <laughs> so if you want something comfortable, sturdy and durable, to last you for generations and quickly outgrow fashion standards, quilty as charged. What does the pig say? What does the pig say? What does the pig say? Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those messages. I know we did. And next, boy have I got something for you. A special musical performance for your ear holes. Despite our best efforts, we could not secure Kesha. Um, brief moment of silence. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. But now, with his up-and-coming new single, Government Bugs, I proudly present to you, Ryan Rafels. Thank you, thank you very much. Hello, I'm Ryan Rafels. This is my new single, Government Bugs. Insects always crawling all over my yard. Are they visiting me or on their way to the bar? Like a highway of bugs every time I go out. Most of them are short and some have snouts. If you ask me, I think it's a government plot. They've got the insects of today and the insects time forgot. Going to the bar, better warn the bartender. If the bugs come in, he better just surrender. Bugs, 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 government bugs. Bugs, 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 government bugs. They're probably serving some exotic whiskey, not legal to serve, unless in Helsinki. So Uncle Joe Biden said, send it the bugs. And now that bartender got his bar overrun. We got insects on the ceiling and insects on the floor. And now illegal whiskey, he will serve no more. Guess I gotta get mine on the black market. It's not the kind of whiskey you can get at Target. Go! Bugs, 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 government bugs. Come on, everybody! Bugs, 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 government bugs. Now, Mr. Biden's got me under arrest. I'm lucky that I didn't take two to the chest. Now I gotta go and my family's gonna miss me. But that's what you get when you drink illegal whiskey. Come on, bugs, 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 government bugs. I can't hear you. Bugs, 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 government bugs. Come on, one more time. I know you know it by now. Bugs, 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 government bugs. We got it. Good measure. Here we go now. Bugs, 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 government bugs. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Be looking around for that. Maybe a few weeks or so. Government bugs. It's going to be out there. You know where to find me. Thank you. Now, wasn't that something? That was really world class, I tell you. Oh boy, that was great. That was wonderful. That deserves an award. For is it ever? <laughs> oh, it was almost as good as Kesha. All right. Well, I'm going to turn it now over to Johnny with another news story for you, Johnny. Oh boy, do I have a news story for you? <laughs> An overwhelming majority of the population think ABBA songs are just from Mamma Mia. 
A new study from the Institute of People with Taste has found that a vast majority of the general populace believes that ABBA songs are just from the hit movie Mamma Mia. Well boy, do we have news for you. The members of ABBA didn't painstakingly learn English for you to think that their absolute disco masterpieces were just some nice movie soundtrack performed by Cher. Go listen to ABBA, gold, and don't come back until you have some dignity. Gosh. Can you hear the drums, Fernando? <laughs> I can't believe you, but man, if you don't listen to ABBA, I cannot even associate with you. Cannot even associate with you. Unsubscribe, but Unsubscribe. not 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 really. Please, not really, not really, but really. Like, come on, Abba, Abba, How's Abba, baby. You? God, okay. Well, we have to go to a commercial break, so catch you on the flippy flap. Hello there. I'm here to talk to you today about the mystical wonders of driftwood. Did you say driftwood? I said driftwood. May I hold your wood? Indeed. Thank you. I would be very upset if you didn't. Oh my. This is a mighty fine wood. I always wondered what one would do with driftwood. Sometimes, when wood drifts into your life, what are you to do except drift along with said wood? As if it were a boat of sorts? I would say. Perhaps you may hop inside and take yourself on a journey drifting in a woodward fashion. Into the unknown. Observe. Please, I can't wait to see this. What a boat! Oh my! I buy driftwood. Where, I would also buy driftwood. <laughs> where does one procure such an item? Well, I think you ought to head to wooddriftinginyourlife.org. Because it's not for sale at Son of a Witch. Absolutely not. No. Don't ever come to buy it. Don't ask me. It's not for sale. Here. Don't even try. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. I'm here to talk to you today about the party hat. Now you may just be having an ordinary time. Maybe you're driving to a faraway trip or you're having a little get together at your house, but you really want to spice it up. This is the hat for you. I put on this bad boy and I go from ordinary man to Captain Hashtag YOLO McSwagon, the king of the party van. And boy, let me tell you, when you put on that hat, I hope you like mayonnaise. Because the mayonnaise is going to be everywhere, my friend. It's going to be mayonnaise city up in there when you put on this hat. So buy yours before it's too late. You're going to want to be lame. Welcome back. Again. I know you're glad to see us. And boy, we got something special for you. An item review. And Johnny, what item will we be reviewing today? We're going to be reviewing this hand. What a marvelous looking hand that is. Hell yeah, brother. You can do lots of things with this hand. You can press buttons. You can pick up items that are hard to reach. You can, <laughs> you can slap your best friend. Oh boy. Now that's a lot of damage. <laughs> it even extends. Oh boy. I didn't even know it was this long. <laughs> boy, it was a surprise to me. Get yours now for four payments of nine ninety nine plus shipping and handling. That is a steal, not a deal. I mean, I use mine every day, really, <laughs> really. All right, well, <laughs> I think that's about all we have for you today. So subscribe if you want to, or don't. I'm not like those other guys. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Remember, don't let other people boss you around. Set boundaries. Who am I to tell you what to do? I'm some guy on the internet. 
If you hate my guts and you don't want to help me out, that's perfectly fine. You do you, boo. And remember to keep your eye on RyanRaffles.com. <laughs> Maybe buy a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> and follow me on Instagram. I'm Ryan C. Crayfuls. That's a combination of Seacrest and Raffles. I know you just can't get enough of me. And I finally did something. I succumbed. I have reached a new low in my existence. I'm on TikTok. <laughs> Not TikTok! <laughs> yeah. At Ryan Rafel's Entertainment. I'm posting little short videos that aren't available anywhere else. I'm being spied on by China. And I'm just like every other person in existence right now. So until next time, I'm Ryan Rafel's. Stay groovy, my friends. We love you. Come on, party people. Put your hands in the air. Come on, party people. Wave them like you don't care. Come on, party people. Everybody say ho. Oh. Come on, party people. Everybody, here we go. <laughs> <laughs>